feel the waves okay i'm back from shopping and i wanted to do a swatch or a patch test on this area here of my sunscreen this tinted blush la roche posay sunscreen and this lip um tinted lip oil and um so i bought a few makeup before i left to japan and i didn't have the chance to wear it because my skin was still really bad but now that my skin's better i wanted to do a patch test to see if i can use some of them because like um eyebrow um the eyebrow pencil so that i can fill up my eyebrows a little bit but let me just look for the eyebrow pencil because i can't find it in the plastic bag <laughs> Let's do it. First up, so the dermatologist, I haven't been wearing any sunscreen and I haven't used any soaps because my skin's still a little bit sensitive. So I asked my dermatologist if what's that, what kind of sunscreen I can wear and she said La Roche Posay. So, I bought the um, non-tinted one, the invisible fluid sunscreen and the tinted one. I used to use this um, before I got into TSW. Okay. Oh my gosh. Whoa. It's very tinted. It's like a foundation almost. Oh no. It's gone everywhere. Okay, let's do it on this, this bit here. Okay, it's not a thick consistency, so although the colour is very tinted, it goes on very smoothly. So it kind of like um clears up mm. it kind of like spreads out and then next we have the eyebrow pencil from Mugu makeup i'm really looking forward to getting back into doing makeup but i don't want to stress my skin at the same time so i'm just gonna like reintroduce it slowly and of course do a patch test a patch test like i am now because my i'm sure my skin tolerance has changed i used to use any kind of makeup and not have any troubles with it um pre tsw but i don't think that's the case now all the ones i'm using are either recommended by my dermatologist or is like a really natural chemical free makeup mm, i really like this pencil it runs really smoothly and the color is nice too it's a dark brown this one's a tinted lip oil by Rare Beauty. Um, it just came out. It's Selena Gomez's brand. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's been all over my TikTok and I really wanted to try it. This is the colour in Affection. They have like six different colours and I really wanted like a dark berry kind of colour. Because um, like, oh it matches my nails. I think I have a cool toned skin, so I. Oh, yes. So I think I like look better with 
these type of colors rather than coral, corally colors. Oh, I'm so excited to try this on my lips. Let's do a swatch. Mm, so cute. Such a cute color. And this one's um, a lip gloss. I remember ordering this before going to Japan. It's a clear, I think it's a little bit tinted. It does have a little bit of color. The color's called Sun Shower. I might as well do a patch test of this as well. doesn't really add any color it's just like glossy i do have these two um makeup that i bought before i went to japan and it came with this brush but i don't think um i will be using i don't know maybe let's let's do a patch test for these as well this is um, the blush, also by Mugu. Actually, I'm just going to do it with my finger. Wow. I love it. It's, it says it's a, um, a blush. I think I can use it as like a bronzer. Can you see it? It may be a little bit too bright for a bronzer, but it's pretty dark and glossy. Like it's very sparkly for a blush. So I don't know, but it looks good. And this one is a mineral foundation. Also by Mugu, Mugu Makeup. I'm going to use my hands just for today. Okay. They are all on. These are my contact lenses. I haven't worn contacts in over a year. And this, um, used to be my favorite or well, it's it still is but i haven't worn it in a year it's my favorite type of lashes and i they discontinued it it's a japanese brand though so, um i don't have access to it anymore but um yeah it's it's such a nice like amount of lashes i might give this a patch test as well the glue for it I don't usually use this glue that comes with it. I use I use another one, which is really good, but it's all packed in like my um with my stuff to go to Melbourne. So a patch just of this. So maybe if it's okay, I can use. The falsies again, but yeah, don't get me wrong. I do like my natural look and i like i said before i don't want to put too much stress on my skin it's like just only started healing so i don't want to go all out but i just wanted to see what um the options of like you know what my skin can tolerate so that if i do have like an event to go i can put a little bit of the product that um i can tolerate that I won't react to, so it's good to know which ones I can tolerate. So that's why I'm doing it. I'm actually going to a birthday party tomorrow um, of my friends, so hopefully I can wear like a lip gloss or something like that. Oh, and an eyebrow pencil because I want to fill my eyebrows. They're not too bad, but you know, they're a bit patchy. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how they go. 
Oh, I forgot to show you guys what um I bought for my friend. So I went to Peter Alexander and bought him this pair of shorts. Dr. Sewers um PJs. And then I went to Sephora um, and got him a blush and a highlighter palette. I know he's going to like this because he likes a little bit of glow when he goes out. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to wrap it up. is like split in half not even half it's like a weird section so well, let's fix that is so long now that it's poking my eyes I have these weird pieces right here I'm sure you be I'm sure you guys were wondering what this weird piece is doing here um, I made this poor decision of cutting them they used to be just like my back hair but I cut them um, when I came to Australia from Japan 
because my face was still really like severely affected by GSW and um, I was planning to go to uni so I wanted to like cover my face as much as possible so I cut these pieces so that like my cheeks would be covered then soon after that I ended up going on cyclosporin and now on Dupixent so um, I don't need these anymore and they are so annoying they get in the way so much and I just want them to grow so it's long enough to fit into my ponytail okay. anyways I try and pin it down when I'm out let's try and like do a little curl sourdough bread crumb and me girl give me what you want this is cute i've never done this style before i am actually uh, i'm thinking of doing like a, a half up half down style i might just put it in that Look. Is it weird? I can't tell. I'm gonna pause it and check. I just checked, it was horrendous. Let's, I fixed it. Let's see how it is now. Is that off? That was somewhat better. But, no, I'm just gonna go with it. It's gonna take me forever to fix that. You don't me good, you don't me good, don't me right. And I take you good and fine. Wouldn't trade it, I've never tried. My hair has grown so much. It's so long now. This is the fit. Because it's pretty cold, I'm gonna wear a jumper on top. So I've got two options. One, this let's make it taller no it doesn't go any okay option number one is this is it too black? Because, because my hair is black as well, um, it may look too dark. So this is option number one. Option number two. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna ask my friends if they think it looks too casual. So the patch test that I did the other day was okay. So I'm gonna fill up my eyebrows. I did pluck um, my eyebrows today. So they are in shape now, but this one's a bit patchy. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that a little bit of this i haven't done this in a while so i'm a bit scared
they look so dark because <laughs> it's been so long since I had this much color on my eyebrows they look so dark I feel like because I'm like focusing a lot onto my eyebrows they look really dark Not tell anymore. I don't think it's too bad. I think it's okay. And they get covered by my fringe too, so I'm gonna add a bit of color on my lips. I think that's gonna make it better. I'm putting a bit of epidermal ointment on my lips first. This is the Rare Beauty Lip Oil. This is the final look. All ready to go. I don't think they're in this section with the other crackers. Oh no no no! Here, this is the one that I always have. It's good. Yes. Are they good? Yeah, they don't like take. Snickers. I can't have it. They're peanuts. I'm allergic to peanuts. <laughs> hey, that's not nice. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my vlog and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I paid you, I paid you five thousand. <laughs> <laughs>